Hello, everyone. This is KNX Point. Today, we will discuss the DALI protocol for lighting control. DALI stands for Digital Addressable Lighting Interface. Let's consider this system in more detail. History of the DALI protocol. The protocol emerged in the late 1990s, replacing analog systems like 010V and 110V as well as earlier digital systems such as DSI. It has several advantages. The signal quality is not affected by line length or voltage fluctuations, and it allows for feedback from devices. Currently, the Dolly Alliance has over 300 equipment manufacturers. Some of the founding members of the protocol include major manufacturers like Tridonic, Osram, and Helvar. Mandatory certification ensures full compatibility between any DALI devices. Thus, within a single project, equipment from different manufacturers can be used. And if a brand leaves the market, its products can be easily replaced with analogs from other factories. Let's move on to the DALI architecture. The DALI lighting control system is built on a two-wire bus through which devices exchange standardized messages. For the system to operate, the bus must have a voltage of 16 volts DC with an allowable range from 9, 5V to 22, 5V DC. Each dolly device draws a small current from the bus, and the total should not exceed 250 milliamps for all devices on the bus. Data is transmitted over the bus at a speed of 1200 bits per second. At first glance, this seems slow. However, standard messages on the bus are 1, 2, or 3 bytes long, so the bandwidth is sufficient. Moreover, the low speed ensures high noise immunity and low requirements for wire connection quality. Wires with a cross section of 1.5 square millimeters are typically used for bus installation. It's common practice to lay power wiring and the dolly bus in a single cable, such as 5x1, 5, with connections made using standard terminals. With this cross-section, the total bus length within a single segment can be up to 300 meters. This limitation can be bypassed using special devices, such as repeaters and amplifiers. When connecting devices to the bus, strict polarity observance is not required, with rare exceptions. Any topology except a ring is allowed for the dolly bus. Typically, the topology is a tree topology, combining a bus topology and star topology. A dolly lighting control system consists of the following devices. Actuators, ballasts, dimmers, drivers, or luminaires. There can be no more than 64 in one segment. The limitation is due to the fact that the address in the standard bus message is allocated six bits. Each such device must have its own unique address within its segment. Control devices and controllers that send commands to the Dali bus. Their number is generally limited only by the total current drawn from the bus. However, in the Dali 2 standard, some of these devices may have their own addresses, so there can be no more than 64 addressed devices. System devices. Gateways, amplifiers, power supplies. The power supply can be either a separate product or built into the controller. The power supply is the only dolly device for which polarity must be observed when using two or more such units simultaneously. The dolly standard provides several types of actuators, the most common of which are DT6, controls LED luminaires and strips, adjusting brightness. DT7, controls relays, turning lighting on and off. DT8, controls LED luminaries and LED strips with adjustable temperature and color. Each type has its own specific commands and configuration parameters according to the DALI standard. DALI commands. In the DALI bus, commands from control devices are sent directly to actuators. The system is decentralized and does not require a central master controller. A typical command is two bytes long. There are also response messages one byte long and commands for color control three bytes long. Types of control commands. Broadcast, executed by all devices connected to the bus. 
so the entire bus behaves as one device. Group, executed by all devices assigned to that group, so the entire group behaves as one device. Individual, executed by only one specific device, whose address is specified in the command. The DALI system also allows for lighting scenarios, enabling multiple luminaires to be set to a predefined state with a single command. It is important to note that to configure a DALI system, a computer must be connected to the bus through a special gateway or master controller. DALI 2, an extended version of the DALI protocol. In the DALI 2 system, a new type of command called events has been added. These commands are sent by control devices to a special event controller. The controller will send regular commands to actuators based on settings and loaded scripts. A master controller is mandatory in a DALI 2 system. Configuring such a system is more complex, but it offers more functions due to the use of scripts. It is also important to note that DALI 2 requires special command devices, buttons, sensors, while the actuators will be the same as in a regular DALI system. Let's examine the advantages of this system at different levels. Advantages of using the DALI system for private and commercial building. Owners, proper configuration and use of sensors can reduce electricity costs, allows for centralized and remote lighting control, complies with A+, A, A1, A2 office standards. Advantages of using the DALI system for system integrators. Open protocol, allowing integration with other systems. Wide range of equipment manufacturers. Variety of sensors, button panels, dimmers, gateways, etc. Free bus topology. Advantages of using the DALI system for lighting designers. Wide selection of DALI equipment, flexible lighting scenario setup, high accuracy in setting brightness and color temperature, flexible group lighting, composition changes, advantages of using the DALI system for installation organizations, low voltage line that can be laid together with power cables in a single cable, no need to observe wire polarity in the DALI bus. No need for terminal resistors at the bus ends. Simple configuration of lighting control scenarios. DALI protocol is actively used in modern construction, residential, houses and apartments, commercial, offices, hotels, restaurants, airports, shopping centers, showrooms and cinemas, industrial and warehouse buildings. It is the most advanced lighting control system. That's the end. Thanks for watching. Give us your likes and comments. See you in new videos.